Hey guys, it is me again, as you can tell. Today is, oh, excuse me, Saturday, June 4th. Makes it day 155 on a project serving more. Guys, it's so good to be here tonight. I'm going to have to try to make this quick because it's late. And, you know, like usually on Saturday nights, I've, I've uh, still got to get my sermon ready and get cleaned up and get in the bed and all that. I tried to put this in a, a few a few minutes ago, guys. I'd have been earlier. Uh, I don't know, every now and then. Well, it's only done it twice on me since I've upgraded my software on my on this webcam. But it's, you know, it's twice in, what, three months or something, four. It'll, you know, when I go to hit the record button, the camera light will just sit there and flash like it's trying to turn on, but it just won't. And, you know, it'll do it seven or eight times, and it just and it just kind of locks everything up, and you've got to cut it off. And uh, I had to restart the computer to uh, to get it to uh, to get it to, you know, you can restart the computer and it'll it'll work fine. So, uh, and with my computer, that's a big deal to restart it. You know, about my laptop, I was noticing the other day. You know, I bought two laptops recently one for the shop and one for here you know those laptops uh you turn them on and it's like i mean you know a minute you know and they're ready i mean they're ready to get on the internet uh this computer's not like that i mean it it takes a few minutes it you know it, it takes its time to come up and um i'm afraid this computer's about shot but uh Anyway, guys, I don't want to rattle too long about that. I'm glad everybody's here. I'm just trying to explain why I'm a little bit late. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. But anyway, guys, uh, I hope everybody's doing all right tonight. Um, as always, guys, everybody just pray for me. You guys that see this tonight, especially pray for me for tomorrow, you know, tomorrow's Sunday. And I always need extra little help on Sunday, which I know the Lord always gives it to me. But uh, you know, I just, I, you know, I want to do the best job I can do for Him. Uh, you know, I want to say what He wants said and, and and everything else. So everybody, just pray for me for tomorrow. And um, I was trying to think. I just gonna let you guys know that, you know, which I, I told you, I think last night, but some of you may not have seen last night's vid, that I do have my drift. HD 170 stealth uh, camera on the way uh, supposedly anyway according to them it's on the way so um, kind of bummed me out that it they sent it from California um, so you know I, I hate getting anything from California to be honest about it because it's you know California's pretty much as far as you can get away from me in the United States uh, except for Alaska you know and uh, so it takes pretty much a week for me to get anything from California. So I was kind of a little bit bummed out that it's, that it's going to take that long, but I just have to have patience. But anyway, guys, as, as you can see on TV here, I don't I don't know if you guys can, can tell it good enough, but uh, I've been watching the program tonight about just talking about the uh, D-Day invasion, uh, and it, it just blows my mind. Uh, those guys, you know, just you know, coming out of those boats on on the beach there and just getting mowed down by the hundreds, and uh, you know they're talking about on this show what little what little stuff made big differences. Like one guy there, uh, they were interviewing him. He's a Jewish guy, and that morning most of the soldiers had a great big meal. The uh, the Navy gave them big meals, you know, because they thought if they had full stomachs they'd fight better. So, I mean, they give them steak, pork chops, they said, sausages, bacon, eggs, uh, ice cream, uh, coffee, anything they wanted. That I mean, they just filled them full. Well, because of that, a lot of the guys, as they were getting in, coming in on the beach and those carriers, and the waves got rocking them real hard, they got real bad seasick. And they were talking about a lot of the guys died because they were so seasick from all this food. Uh, that they just, you know, it, didn't, it made them so sick that they couldn't fight. You know, they were jumping over the sides of the boats, and some of them were so seasick that, you know, with them with 50 or 60 or 100 pounds or whatever, how much they weighed, of gear on, when they would hit the water, they'd just go straight to the bottom and drown. And they were so sick they couldn't do anything about it. And he, uh, he, he didn't eat that morning. All he had was candy bar. And they said, you know, that's one thing that saved his life. Uh, I think, yeah, that's him right there was just having that candy bar, 
you know, and that's it's kind of kind of weird the way you know things work like that. Uh, but you know what? They had to, you know, they were they were outnumbered, they were outgunned, they were out everything there, you know, and they still ended up overrunning the Germans, you know, and that just it blows me away. Well, they might not have been outnumbered, uh, but still, they might as well have been outnumbered. Like they said, there were twelve hundred Germans there uh, on Omaha Beach. And I don't know how many Allies there were. Fifteen hundred, I know they said maybe in the first wave, but uh, anyway, they might as well have been outnumbered. Uh, it was just like being outnumbered. And they, they, you know, the Lord had to help them. Just to be honest about it, you know, I think in, in stuff like that, you know, when it comes to, you know, I mean, it was just some fate, you know, the, the Lord's hands. Something had to be done with Hitler, you know, and and. You know, he, I, I honestly believe that, that he helped him take him out. But anyway, guys, I've already been too long on here. Uh, it's going to take me longer to upload than I wanted. But Luke chapter 20, starting in verse 36. Here we go. Neither can they die anymore. You know, Jesus is answering some questions about heaven. And he's telling them that you're not going to have marriage and things like that in heaven. Neither can they die anymore. For they are equal unto the angels, and are the children of God, being the children of the resurrection. You know, that posed the question I've heard a lot of people say, you know, when we get to heaven, will we be able to fly like an angel? Which, here's one of them deals, I don't know, you know, I, I don't know if a real angel can fly or not. I mean, to be honest about it, uh, you know, if it's not fly, they might be able to, you know, just bounce from one place to another you know stuff like that but you know like right here it tells you know says that we're going to be equal to the angels that's just kind of one of those little weird questions i've heard a lot of people ask but verse 37 now that the dead are raised even moses showed at the bush when he calleth the lord of god of abraham and the god of isaac and the god of jacob for he is not a god of the dead but of the living for all live unto him then certain of the scribes answered and said, Master, thou hast well said. And after that, they durst not ask him any question at all. They dared not to ask him any more, it says. And he said unto them, How say that? How say they that Christ is David's son? And David himself saith in the book of Psalms, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand. Till I make thine enemies thy footstool. David therefore calleth him Lord. How is he then his son? Then in the audience of all the people he said unto his disciples. Beware of the scribes. Which desire to walk in long robes. And love greetings in the markets. And the highest seats in the synagogues. And the chief rooms at feast. Which devour widows houses. And for a show. Make long prayers, the same shall receive greater damnation. Jesus is talking about them just putting on a show. These scribes, the way they would do, you know, they, they acted like they were serving the Lord, but they weren't. Like a whole lot of people we see today. But anyway, guys, we'll continue tomorrow. It looks like in Luke chapter 21. So, uh, as always, I'm glad for y'all being here. i got to get off here, like I said, I've... It's uh, almost 1 o'clock in the a.m., and I've still got to get my sermon finished, get ready to get in the bed, and get try to get a good night's sleep. And so, uh, as always, if you guys need anything, let me know. Keep praying for me, please, and my family, uh, my church, especially, my business. Business is booming right now, guys. I mean, we couldn't we couldn't do any more right now. But, you know, that's just one of those deals you need. It may Mon Monday morning we may go in and we may sit there and you may hear crickets chirping. This business is so up and down, you know. It's just it's all at once or it's nothing. So you all just keep keep praying for me. Uh, but the Lord's holding us up, you know, and He always does, even when we think He don't. Sometimes He is. <laughs> I think that's the truth. That's when He's holding us the mo the most. But anyway, guys, like I said, just just keep praying for me, and I'm praying for you guys. If you need anything, I don't care what it is, anything, let me know. Um, good Lord willing, I'll be back here tomorrow night. So till I see you guys again, good night and God bless.